Oh, good day, guys. So, Acre Beachside Heaven is where we're at. It's a hip camp down on the Mandra Estuary. Their backyard, that's Collins Pool. We can go crabbing out there. We got kayaks. They got crab scoops for us to use. I've got my own, but <laughs> I'm gonna be here for four nights. Absolutely stoked with this site. Um, we've just been speaking with the owner, Eleanor, and I just saw a little fish jump out. And um, what they're trying to do is turn this into like a little bit of an animal sanctuary. They haven't been here very long. I think she said three months, something like that. But they've done a lot of tidying up. They're totally passionate about wildlife and animals and they want to create like a little bit of a, a nature reserve for people to come and enjoy just the natural beauty of the place. Tomorrow, we're headed out there. We're going to hopefully do a catch and cook. I'm going to attempt a crab curry. It's going to see what I can do. I've got no idea what I'm doing. If anyone out there is a chef or they know how to cook, I totally apologize. I'm just going to throw a confusion of flavors in and hope for the best. So, crabbing tomorrow, catch and cook, stick around for that. And we're going to have a fantastic time for the next four nights. This is going to be hard to take. Hey, how's that for your backyard? Beautiful, eh? Stunning. Hopefully we see some dolphins go past. That's what I failed to mention. The amount of wildlife they've already got at this property. Yeah. So, was it ringtail possum, brush tail possum, bandicoots, rabbits, rabbits. A dog? with a sea, a dog? sea eagle? Is that what she said? I yeah, can't I think it was. some sort of. Yeah. And then the dolphins, and the stingrays, stingrays, octopus, dolphins, crabs. octopus. So the dolphins, they come in and train the young ones how to catch fish up on the shore here. Yeah. Oh, I hope. Could you imagine if we see some dolphins here doing that? That'd be cool. Oh man. man. Do you know what I have behind my back? What? So first I have crab pincer. Oh yeah. Halfly cooked. One still with its oh, eyeballs. A bit of crab carapace. <laughs> that one's been cooked that one. It's been, it still has its eyeballs. And you got a pincer as well. Yeah. Cool. It still All right. works. Pizzas for dinner tonight. Yep. yep. Yum yum. I bet Rosie will so smell they that. Work. Got a pizza stone for the Ziggy, so no excuses now, hey? <laughs> It's a pretty nice view to be enjoying your pizzas too. Even if they are a little bit burnt on the bottom. Hey, is he slow, is it? Oh, he's a big oh. Hi, buddy. <laughs> he almost bit my toe off. That terrified me. I got Absolutely that on terrified. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we need to get the measurer, see if he's good size or not. Where I keep my toolbox in the camper, there's the yellow measurer. Can you go and get it, please? I'll get it. Thanks, Jack. He's way too small. Well, oh. put him back. Jack, who wants to hold him before they put him back? Me. Well, I've got three here, so. Grab him at the back. Oh. No? Oh, yeah. grab, grab him at the back. Got to hold him tight. And just what? put him back in the water. Put him? Like, yeah. Place him or? Yeah, just put him down. Mm -hmm. 
dead. Oh, let's measure this one, shall we? Oh, he's coming for a taxi. They're mating. Daddy, he's attacking. Yeah, he's not happy. <laughs> he's not happy. This one. Oh, he's too small as well. Jack, and you want to put him back? Uh, how does the bottom feel? Just, uh, just hold on to it. All right, Cammy, no. you do it. Oh. Ooh. Yep. Go, go put him down. Wait. No, Jack, what I, are you doing? Where are you I need him, to love? put oh. my shoes off. Oh, he's mad. He's yeah, grabbing! He's not happy. <laughs> <laughs> no, you take him! You take him! You take him! It's alright, Jacqueline. It's okay. It's okay. He can't get you while you're holding a blood. Come on, guys. Ready for the photo? Hey, Jacqueline. There's a crap behind you. <laughs> You okay, Jacqueline? Don't come. Daddy just trying to be funny. <laughs> Good morning, everyone. <clears throat> Not my standard coffee this morning. Uh, we forgot the milk, but Cameron had some vanilla up and go, so it's almost like a French vanilla coffee. Not quite the same, though. Um, but everyone's still asleep. It's not even five o'clock yet. I got woken up by a kookaburra, which isn't a bad way to get woken up, let's be honest, but I thought I'd take the opportunity to try and head out there and uh, get a head start on catching dinner tonight. So, what is that? There's a heron out there. <laughs> He's got the same idea. He's out there hunting too. Yeah, so I'm gonna finish my coffee enjoy the sunrise and then I'm going to go out and see if I can start catching us some dinner hehe <laughs> got one she's a female and way too small you can fight another day get bigger Come on, buddy, let go. He's way too small as well. I'm actually finding this quite difficult because the sun's really low. It's causing a lot of glare on the water. It's really difficult to see. I might give up for now, go back, make another coffee. And then come back and try when the sun's a bit higher in the sky. Come on, mate. Let go. You're too small. Go on. Off you go. Let's swim towards my toes. <laughs> oh, couple more minutes. Couple more minutes. We might have one here. I think we might have one here. Come on, you. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know you're upset with me. Oh, <laughs> yes, we got one. <laughs> oh. Just on my way back too, all I saw was a claw coming out the sand. Yep. Very good and glad I didn't step on you. Let's just double check that measurement. Yep, he's a keeper. Good morning. Hey. Daddy? Yes? I thought you were on the beach because I could see your thongs on the My beach. My thongs were on the beach, yes, but I came back to use the toilet. And then... Did you go for a little walk along the beach? Yeah. Is Mummy and Cameron still asleep? Yeah. Yeah. Um, because I saw um, a, a tree yes. with no leaves back there, yes. so I thought that was you. <laughs> you thought I was a tree? <laughs> Okay then. Do you want to go for a walk along the beach? Yeah. Come on. Oh. 
They're very grumpy. Yeah. They're very cranky, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> Should we go back and make some breakfast? No. No? You want to keep going for a little morning walk, do you? Yeah. All right, come on then. Let's go for a little walk and then we'll go back and have a, um, breakfast. Bacon and eggs this morning. Yeah. Yummy? Yeah. Yummy. Right, let's get the bacon on. Hey, cook it in the ziggy. Yummy. Hey. Yummy. Hey, Check him out, mate. Another one for dinner. Yeah. He's just a good size, look, and he's he's pulled his own leg off. <laughs> Holding his leg. Yep. All right. Stick him in the fridge for later. Good morning, Rosie. You're a very well-behaved dog while we're eating our breakfast. Oh, hi. <laughs> she saw you picking at the bacon, Cam. <laughs> Can I give her a bit? Oh, I wouldn't without checking with the owner first. She reckons you should give her some, though. <laughs> Come on, bro. Hook me up. Just a little bit. <laughs> We're gonna head into, uh, there's a, some markets Miranda wants to go and visit. Gotta pick up some milk, which we forgot. Uh, and then there's like an art installation here in Mandra at the moment called Giants of Mandra. Uh, I forget the name of the artist, Andrew Dabo. I'm sorry, I'll put it up on the screen. But there's these giant wooden sculptures that are all made out of recycled wood. Um, and he places them all around the world and it's a little bit of a game actually you go to the first one and it gives you a clue and then you find the uh the second one that gives you a clue and you just keep locating them they're all in the wetlands in the bushland and all around the mandra region so i'm going to shoot off and try and discover as many as we can today really looking forward to uh checking these out unfortunately uh, some people hey like they're made out of recycled wood so some morons actually burnt one of them down, which is a real disappointment. Uh, but anyway, we're gonna go and see how many we can find. I heard it takes about five hours or so to find them all. Don't know if we're gonna be able to do that, but we'll give it a crack. So we'll get in the car, head off to these markets, go and see if we can find the giants of Andra. Markets, are you happy? Yes. I bring you to the nicest places. What have you seen? You don't know where to look, do you? No, Sport for choice. Big. It is. Yeah. Big turnout. Pretty good, eh? Yeah. It's my kind of uh, market stall, that one. Fridge full of meat. Lamb, jalapeno, and cheese sausages. Enjoy that. Mm -hmm. What'd you get, Jacqueline? A dragon. Hey, that's cool. Where are you going to put that? Um, in my room. Awesome. Is it a magical dragon? No. Oh. What it is it? It did have pink ones. Oh, but you got the blue one? Yeah. It's blue is my favourite colour. So we've just come down to the Mandra foreshore. We're going to quickly stop off at the visitor centre and get the first clue to try and find these giants. Miranda and the kids are already in there. I just wanted to come have a look at these swans. It's really nice down here and there's the smell of fish and chips in the air too it makes it even better oh, not long eaten but it still makes you hungry so we've got the clues we're just out the front of the visitor center and we don't really know what to do we've got to find the qr code got to find, is it is that the qr code right there oh yeah maybe <laughs> <laughs> that might be it <laughs> oh here they're in the book oh okay yeah, so I think each one then has its own little QR code to... To get you to the next one. To get you there. Okay, so we did look pretty dumbfounded to begin with. We'd never make professional treasure hunters. <laughs> Super simple. You get the giant's book. Yeah. Each giant has a QR code. You scan it. <laughs> you load it into your GPS. It takes you to a car park. <laughs> and you just follow the map. Find the giant. Oh, you have to find a code there too, yeah, I think, and find, collect yeah, all the codes to get the location of, of the very last one, the secret one. Yeah, so the last one, the whole game is get all the codes, and then you can uncover or break that code to get the location for the secret giant, yeah. which I don't think we're going to get to. Never know. You never know, but probably not because we also have to take a trip into Subiaco to get <laughs> to get all the. Um, uh, yeah. To get all the codes, so I don't think that that's going to happen. You we'll can't go and go to see a couple, and then come all the way back to Mandra. That's what they want you to do. Oh. <laughs> okay. 
Well, I, we might just be seeing three of the giants. We'll only see a couple. <laughs> I mean, when we do go home, we could stop by actually the Echo Drive Hunt. Yeah, we could possibly we on the way home. The secret one. Yeah, we won't find the secret one though. Well, we could cheat. We could Google the last one. No, so, long story short, we're gonna get this. We're gonna go and see a couple of these giants, but we won't see the secret one. You ready to go see some wooden giants, Jacqueline? Yeah. Yes. Let's go. We made it. Little Lou. So let's see, we left, it was probably about 12.35, so it took a good half an hour to walk. Yeah. This is the longest one though. Yeah. Next longest one's a, one. about 10 minutes. About 10 minute walk. So yeah. We'll see how many we can tick off, probably only three today. <laughs> yeah. oh, let's Very keep going. Cool. Righto, lunch sorted. Kids are finishing up on the playgrounds. We're gonna go see uh, a couple more. Yep. We're doing them a little bit out of order. Uh, there is sort of a coherent story you're meant to follow, but this was the easiest way for us to come to the furthest one and then make our way back to the hip camp. And then maybe the one in Subiaco on the way home. On the way home. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Won't see the burnt one, obviously, which is... It's, <laughs> it's, great. it's really sad. Yeah, it's really upsetting. And yeah. it, we were just reading, this is the first time the giants have been in Australia, and yeah, the Probably poor the has now had one of them destroyed. Yeah, he's from Denmark. I was reading up about him. He's a, you know, trying to highlight the importance of recycled materials and all that. Which is, uh, you know, he's got a really good story. Yeah. Anywho, enough of that. On to the get next in the car, one. get on to the next one. <laughs> so almost there. No idea if you can hear me. It's so windy. And it's super popular as well. It's actually nice to see everyone out there getting about and checking it out yeah. though. It was chaos. <laughs> People were reversing out of car bays, reversing down the street, one way street, because it was just a traffic jam. It's a tiny little pokey car park, there's cars all over the road. So we'll do that one another day. We've got to get back to the camper anyway. I need to go catch some more crabs for dinner. We've got two. We've got two. If we don't get any more, it's going to be a two crab dinner. So I'll have to pat it out with some veggies instead. Um, but that's the wind that's absolutely howling at the moment so I'm hoping where we are is a little bit sheltered because if it's this windy where we're camping we're not going to catch any more crabs this afternoon we just won't be able to see what we're doing so head back sit down relax go crabbing get on the kayaks if it's not too windy and get stuck into this crab cooker yeah. Way too small. Too small. Fish for the future, hey? Well, that's about it, I think. Caught loads, but they've all been way too small. There's heaps all through here. Can I look at this guy? Whoa. He's having a go at me. See if he can get him. Oh! <laughs> oh, you missed him. So, it might be uh, two crab curry for dinner tonight. <laughs> My specialty, two crab curry. All right, just came across this guy, Cam, on the way back. We might have a three crab curry. You need to flip him and it's, get the mud. Uh, he's a pretty good size, this one. Is he good? Yeah, he's like two millimeters oversized. <laughs> three crab curry. Yes. What's all the commotion? Four crab curry. 
<laughs> Cammy just, he was literally. Little man got one, did he? Yeah, he just walked out there and boom, he landed it right away. Oh, fantastic. He's Lost it in the weeds and then he got it again. It was quite exciting. <laughs> oh, well done, mate. Did you measure him up? Yeah. About a millimetre over. Oh, let's have a look at this. Oh, there's one just there. Check him out. What? Just there. It's, it's He's too small, yeah. Don't step on him, though. Oh, <laughs> He's got his claws up. <laughs> 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 He's going for you. <laughs> He's got his claws over the water. All right, stop there. Give us, give us your scoop. Give us your measure, mate. It's scary. You good to go? Oh, he is good to go, mate. Hey. High five. Good job, Cam. Well done. All right, so I've been talking up this cook up all episode. So the first thing I'm going to do, is I'm going to boil the water. I'm going to actually cook the crabs separately to the curry. I'm going to put them in at the end. Uh, to bring them up to temperature for the rest of the curry. The only reason I'm doing it like that is because I'm not confident enough that I'm going to be able to cook them and have them ready at the same time as everything else that's going in the curry. So, first thing first, boil the water. Alrighty, so I'm not actually going to cook these crabs entirely whole. I'm actually going to peel their carapace off first. So, thumb under their butt, peel him back, and then you just Peel that carapace right off over the front. Hey, buddy. He's been in the fridge all day, so he's well gone. <laughs> he's not under any uh, duress here at the moment. Why are you taking his oh, clothes off? What do you think of that, guys? Yeah. Taking his clothes off? Yeah. <laughs> that just gets to start it. <laughs> um, yeah. Mouth parts, you just twist them off. Peel them out. You are disgusting. Yeah, I am pretty gross. No, you got their gills. The <laughs> Peel their gills off. They all come out. Oh, the smell. <laughs> smells like crab, mate. It smells delicious. Right. Ooh. You stand back a bit there, Jacqueline, please. Ah. All right. All their gills have come out. And then you got all this mucky stuff in there. They call that mustard. mustard. Probably because of the colour. So I put that in the sink. Now I'm just going to rinse all that out underwater. So like I said before, not a chef. No idea really what I'm doing. Apologise to anyone who does. Bamboo shoots, sliced mushrooms in butter sauce, curry paste, whole baby potatoes, coconut cream. And I'm also going to chuck in Mommy, some capsicum and some broccoli. Alright, crabs are on the ice. They're cooked. Time to start on this curry. I almost forgot the onion. I did forget the garlic, but we'll have to go without. Miranda's listening to me in the background. We've got garlic infused oil. Winner, winner. Well done. Great idea. All right. Lemon infused oil and the onions. Those crabs have been on ice for about five minutes, so I'm gonna get them out in a sec. And just set them aside and I'll put them in right at the last minute. Just putting a little bit of red capsicum in there as well, just for a bit of colour really to be honest. Same with the broccoli. Just taking the crab out, the icy water. Look at all that juicy crab meat in there. Oh my god. I'm doing your trick. Burning things. I oh, just good. burnt the onions. Good, good. <laughs> Carry on the tradition. Cut that out. <laughs> Boop. All right. Thai red curry. I'm gonna have a good dollop of that. Two dollops. Come back to that if we need some more. Bang in the uh, coconut cream. All right, just waiting for that sauce to come up to temperature. And then I'll start putting everything else in. So, I'm just gonna get a lot of this crab flesh out and put it in the curry sauce. It's just simmering away. So I'm gonna get most of the crab meat out of the uh, the main body parts and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna break a couple of the uh, claws off, put them in as well. And all the legs, I'll just roll all the meat out and eat that on the side. Right. We're done. Success. It was a success. It's good. <laughs> Can I eat this? 
Enjoy the evening, I think. Good morning. So, as usual, everyone's still snoozing away. Cracking sunrise again. The herons out there hunting. There was some sort of sea eagle. They came flying over with the fish before. <sighs> Just enjoying my morning coffee. Not sure what we're going to be getting up to today. Um, we got that other giant that we need to still go and get. The one that we got chased away from yesterday because it was too busy. I think just a, a lazy day around the campsite. I'll take the kayaks out with the kids. The, the wind has pretty much disappeared. It's so calm. It really whipped up yesterday. Camo tried to take the uh, the kayak out and he got blown away. Uh, he managed to get it back himself, which was good. So yeah, I think I might take the kids for a little paddle. Go see that giant. Whip up some breakfast, some lunch. Um, oh, I've got some we got some sausages, some lamb sausages from the markets yesterday. Uh, we got two types. We got rosemary and garlic, I think, and um, some chili sausages. What did the guy say with the chili ones? He goes, he goes, I'll give you a tickle, but they won't blow your socks off. <laughs> yeah, so finish my morning coffee in peace. Listen to the birds. See if that heron manages to catch anything. I'll see you in a bit. Alright, happy to report we're back at the giant that we got chased away from yesterday and the car park was empty. There's only a tiny little single lane and, and it would have been chaos yesterday. We only saw the start of it. I but the um, yeah. Oh, there he is. Cool. Yeah, we had to come another yeah. 500 metres up still. Yeah. So, and we only had just started and it was chaos down there. So I can't yeah. imagine up here. There's a whole row of people trying to reverse back down that one way street. Oh, I think we made the right decision about yeah. coming back. So, what is it? Eight o'clock in the morning? Yeah, just after. If that. There's only one other couple in front of us, and that's it. So, it'd be nice to go and have this uh, have this experience without the whole hordes of people like there was yesterday at the other one. Little bit of a time warp here. We're on our way home, but we're just ducking into Subiaco Theatre Gardens to check out this final giant. So we'll put that footage in with all the other giant hunting that we've been doing. Unfortunately, we're on our way home, but mm. we'll just cut back to where we're still on holidays having fun. <laughs> yeah. Hey guys, so we're actually doing a little bit of a time travel thing at the moment. We're on our way home from a, a trip to Dwelling Up that we've just done. Uh, that video will be coming out in a few weeks, so hang around for that. That's where I've got these cool uh, red tail cockatoo feathers. Uh, so we've just popped back in to the Mandarin Visitor's Centre. We're going to put the code in and see if we can find this hidden giant. Alright, so let's go. Miranda's just scanned that QR code. So if you're lazy, just scan the QR code at the bottom of the totem pole. Hey. Break the code. Unlock the correct order of the symbols. Dragon oh. Pose. Alrighty, so it's not as easy as scanning the QR code. The QR code brings up this little screen on your phone. You've got to put the code in the correct order and then that will reveal the location for you. I don't know how it works. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Like we said before, Hold we're not going to make treasure hunters. drop the correct symbols, but it doesn't let you... Hold. We'll get back to you. I got it. Submit. So, congratulations, you found a sick get location. We got it? Yep. yep. We got it? Where we're going. <gasps> we'll beep <Yeah>. that out. <laughs> <laughs> well done, mate. You put the code in successfully. Now we know where to go for the uh, final giant. That's going to be awesome. Cool. We've already been there once. I know where we're going as well. That's a real treat. Love that spot.
that's it, we did it. We made it, all the giants of Mandra. Every last one, except the one that got burnt down. It's really cool, so clever. Alrighty, well, that was the last of the giants, so we'll throw back to a couple of weeks ago, eh? What is going on here? What you looking at, Swan? So that Swan you just seen, it's one of the ones from Disneyland in Orlando, Florida. <laughs> they, they bought it and paid to have it shipped over here, so it's one of the little pedal crafts. So we're gonna take it out onto the estuary. Apparently uh, dolphins like to come up and see you when you're out there. So I'm hoping we can come across some dolphins and stuff. That'd be pretty cool. Uh, unfortunately, it's low tide at the moment. So it was an incredibly muddy entry and we're still, we're all caught up on the weed at the moment, but I'm gonna push it out there and we'll go for a little bit of a paddle. Take the swan out, they asked. It'll be fun, they said. <laughs> Look at these guys. Look at these guys. They're going for a nice little ride at my expense. Apparently there's dolphins out there, so I better hurry up. Get it out of this so we don't miss them. You guys right up there? Yeah, we're good. Okay. Lucky you. We're off on our epic voyage. Finally. Oh, go, go. Okay. Okay. So we can see the dolphins. <laughs> we just can't catch them. We need them to come and see us. I think the wind's doing more than we are. So we're not going to make it to the dolphins. So we're going to send the yes, drone out and hopefully we can get some footage that way for you. Okay, we couldn't find the dolphins unfortunately. They, they've taken up the estuary too quick. In the meantime, we've drifted away. So we're gonna try and make our way back here now. Um, Craig's just got some drone footage. So um, we'll put a little bit of that up so you can see how ridiculous this swan is. It's hilarious. But yeah, we'll have a bit of a mission, I think, in the wind getting it back. But Craig did well. He managed to land the drone on a floating swan <laughs> in, in pretty strong wind, so well done. <laughs> so we'll catch you back on shore. You're whipping up over here, but it smells amazing. Some roast veggies that's in that um, garlic oil again. That oh. smells so good. It really is. Yeah, that's a nice delicious. Um, aroma to it, isn't it? So just roast. Yeah, it does, doesn't it, Camo? Roast veggies and those yummy sausages. Mm-hmm. Should be good. Snaggers from the market. Yeah. Well, that's about it for today. Mm. Eat this off the bed. Get stuck into it tomorrow. Yeah. Yep. See, see you in the then. morning. Actually, you won't see me. I've got to work tomorrow. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. These guys get to enjoy this beautiful place. Mm. <laughs> Gonna go to work and then come back and go home Tuesday. Good? Yeah. Yeah, pretty good, eh? Oh, like good night. One. Next day, the kids and I just relaxed around the camper while poor Craig had to go to work. When he got back, we all headed up into Mandra to the town beach for a bit of a cool off. That was a lovely little beach there, nice and sheltered. Um, not a lot of waves, but enough for the kids to play in, so it was beautiful. That night we had a storm come in and we were treated to a light show. It was absolutely beautiful. Uh, thankfully the next day though, it was sunny again, so we could get the camper dried out and Craig and the kids could have a bit of a paddle in the kayak before it was time to pack up and head off. So that brings us to the end of this video. We really appreciate you guys watching and all your support. Please leave us a comment, leave us a like. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing to 
follow along and we will catch you on the next one. Thanks again, guys.